The beach that fronts the Hyatt and now Crown Plaza Resort is perhaps one of the most important beachfronts in the NMI, but trash and marine debris are keeping it looking less than stellar. Micro Beach at its best is picture perfect, white sand, warm water, central location, and two international hotels. It attracts both tourists and local residents, but this area here between Crown Plaza and Hyatt has become a trash collection area and a major eyesore. Here's the scene, a broken block of concrete on the beach with a metal pole sticking out of it. Nearby, uprooted trees along the shoreline. Beer cans, food, and pizza boxes. A broken down picnic table. Broken chairs. An old broken down tent from a former marine sports company. An old battery. PVC pipe that once contained electrical lines. A vandalized Pala Pala and a locked up bathroom where people now just use the side of the building. It's not the NMI's best look. One marine sports company has opened back up recently. One of their employees today says they are trying to help with trash removal even though it isn't generated by them. I like to always cleaning, yeah. That's uh, also, I have to also complain for that. Uh, uh, sometime here to come local people to party. But there I explained for the trust heap like that, uh, you by yourself. But there is still say, yeah, it's okay. But uh, there are drinking, drinking, and uh, some people like forget to take the trust. Mohammed Samad is originally from Bangladesh. He says he's been on the island about eight years. He says his company, Sakura Marine Sports, currently offering $25 Monagaha transfers and $35 jet skiing activities, and there aren't yet a lot of customers. Small tourists is not enough for the business. Prior to the pandemic, the NMI welcomed about 30,000 Koreans a month, 4,000 Japanese and 18,000 Chinese. Those numbers are from January of 2020. Fast forward to today, January of 2023, where the latest arrivals showed that Koreans were up to about 10,000 arrivals per month. Japan was just 400 and China virtually zero. Actually, we need the um, tourists. So any country tourists come in Saipan, we I think is better because <clears throat> long time no tourists, so you know economics is very very down. No people no walking. These bags of trash were removed today by the Ooh. Marine Sports Company. Mr. Samad says they are helping where they can. My work time is. Uh, eight to five but uh, after whoever come in and throw that us but i didn't see but when i start the uh, my business uh, i see that as i pick up scientists say that three years of elevated sea levels due to the la nina weather pattern has contributed to the erosion in low-lying areas on the western shores of Saipan. This area has lost close to 50 feet of beach in the last couple of years and this has exacerbated the marine debris problem. Some of the dangerous items were removed late last year by the Mariana Islands Nature Alliance, but there's still a lot of work left to do. We can love the bees, we can love the island, we can love all of each other.